Let us see how to find limit of trigonometric functions. Here is the fundamental limit. We need to prove that the limit of sine x over x when x approaches 0 is 1, right? So that is a big question. And the most important. So once you know that limit of sine x over x when x approaches 0 is 1, you can solve rest of the problems on trigonometric limits. Now how to prove this? This is right from the definition. So what you need to do is, I've already done this for you. I've had, I have a table of values. I have a table here. So you need to test the value of function sine x over x as x approaches 0 from both the sides, from left side and from the right side. Correct? So here's a table for you. Let us say we are approaching x from the left side. Then in the table, calculate what is sine x over x when x is minus 1 and it approaches 0. Then comes closer to 0. That means minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.01. Find the value out. Fill this table. So when you have these three values, you will see that you are approaching 1. Similarly, Complete this table. Substitute 1 for x and see what you get. Then point 1 and then point 0, 1. So you're approaching 0 from the right side. Both these values will be very, very close to 1. And that is how we know that limit of sine x over x when x approaches 0 is 1. You need to take one precaution. That is, in your calculator, do the settings with angle in radians. So in trigonometry, whenever we are doing calculus, you have to ensure that you are working with radians, not with degrees. Okay? Now complete the table and get the answer and then do rest of the questions in this playlist. Thank you.